All right, now we do want to get back to that story. The sister of an Aurora couple murdered says they were just two of the most loving people ever. They leave behind five kids, and you can help. Here's Denver 7's Gary Broad. Jocelyn and Joe were the most loving people ever. A tragic end. They know that mom and dad are angels watching over them. Those are their words. A family changed forever. Mom and dad aren't going to be there for their wedding and graduations and stuff like that and grandchildren. Sammy Heckerman is the younger sister of Jocelyn Rowland. We're coping, I, I guess is the best word to say. We're just going day by day, sometimes minute by minute of how we're feeling and trying to not have to relive this every moment. Jocelyn and her husband Joe were murdered the night of August 14th. I think there's still a lot of confusion behind a lot of what happened. The couple went to the Southlands Mall that night to buy a car from 18-year-old Kyrie Brown. Court documents show Brown told police it was the wrong car, and so Jocelyn and Joe followed Brown to his apartment complex to buy the correct car. It was there. Brown admits he pulled a gun on Joe Rowland and demanded money. When the father of five reached for the gun, Brown shot him and accidentally shot Jocelyn in the process. Brown was arrested and is facing first-degree murder charges. I'm still in her house right now, and um, every time I turn around, something reminds me of them and how tragic this really is. The Rollins leave behind five children from the ages of 18 to as young as four. The family holding on to memories to get them through. The little one, just his face like just lights up every time he sees a picture of his mom or dad. And he's like, my angel's looking over me. <laughs> so and he'll like go around and waving and kissing all their photos. Heckerman says the children will stay together and be raised with kindness and love like their parents would have wanted. I just want to make sure the kids grow up to know that they were loved and to know that their parents love them. And I want to make sure that that is instilled in them instead of the vengeance. In Aurora, Gary Broad, Denver 7. Oh, gosh. And we have set up a very easy way for you to help the Roland family. You can make a tax-deductible donation to Denver 7 Gives. Just head over to the DenverJournal.com. It's very easy. Click Denver 7 Gives under the drop-down menu. Click Help for the Roland family.